Hi, today I will discuss on rating transition matrix. Now what is a rating transition matrix? Rating transition matrix is a matrix which is created by credit rating agencies to understand how their rating has shifted for a particular company and also for all the companies for which they are undergoing the rating from uh, one rating to the other, right? So uh, I'll be able to explain you better as uh, we do some sort of a uh, demonstration around that as to how the rating ma matrix is developed. But uh, over here, if you see the table, uh, there are roughly around uh, 50 companies. Yeah, so there are roughly 50 companies uh, which has got rated in say year one, year two, year three and year four. So as you see, these are the companies which got rated uh, in uh, uh, the respective uh, years and uh, you'd find a certain uh, blank areas so that may suggest that they have not continued the rating with that particular rating agency or for some reason the rating was not done that very year so that would also get reflected now if we want to understand say for company 11 where the rating was C in year 1 and D in year 2 and D in year 3 and D in year 4. So D would stand for default rating. Okay. So uh, if uh, we are getting to see that the rating has uh, shifted, right? So how the rating has shifted over the years is something that we need to see in the form of a matrix, right? Which is called a transition matrix. So let me show you how that can be done. So if we go to insert and if we go to pivot table. Okay, so let's first uh, select the table first. So we select the table, then we go to pivot table. And uh, we click on OK. So as you see the data over here we get for year one, year two, year three and year four, right? So year one suppose if we want to see from year one is in row column and year two uh, how the uh, data has uh, shifted right so if we place over here uh, the count so over here you get to see these are the counts right so how many uh, companies were there 32 right so if you see there are 32 companies out here so as we see uh, that uh, the year one data uh, like over here in this uh, uh, table there are four companies which were having a rating of a in year one and also that in year two and uh, there are there is one company which was having a rating of a and it is one in year two I, I mean to say uh, it was B in year 2, right? So it was A rating in year 1 and B rating in year 2. So th like that there is only one company. So if we see over here, just uh, to get a better understanding, see over here if you see there was one company in this one which uh, was uh, A in both the cases, right? That is one such situation. Over here we get to see another which has been A in both year 1 and year 2. We are only trying to find those set of companies which were uh, A in both year 1 and year 2. right? So this is uh, uh, for the third company and this is a fourth company. right? In all other companies uh, the ratings have uh, changed from A to some other ratings. right? So there are four companies like this which had rating A in year 1 and rating A in year 2 as well and that is what got reflected over here 4 right now see uh, we'll try to see that uh, rating was A and it was uh, in year 1 and uh, it was uh, B in year 2 how many such situations are there so let's check okay this is one situation we are getting to see where the rating was A sorry let me which was A in uh, year 1 and B in year 2. Is there any other case like that? No, right? Right. So that is what is getting reflected. So if you are making use of the pivot table, it makes your life very easy and you get to understand uh, how many cases are there which uh, 
uh, is like year one and year two right so you can make such a study so suppose if you want uh, to understand how the things have shifted from year one to year three so instead of year one you take year three over here and then see the count right so you'll get to see how the matrix has got changed over a period of time okay and as i said d stands for default okay so uh, if we try to understand how many in how many cases uh, where there are default in ratings so what we can do is that uh, we can select this okay and divided by the total minus your blank mm -hmm. okay what is the there's a problem if you're doing calculation so let's do one thing <coughs> let's not get into the this will get really complicated so what we can do is that uh, just we can uh, sorry we can try to just do a space spatial just we paste the values out here okay so now if we do the calculation we'll see this divided by total minus the blank ones so 20 percent of the cases the e uh, rating has moved to a d rating in year three right and uh, if we do f4 over here control f4 oh, sorry just a second we need to just It should be E, yeah, okay. So we have uh, freeze this reference. Right. So as you see over here that uh, this is the default uh, percentage you may say so if we try to So, so as you see, uh, so D is anyway a default uh, rate, so it doesn't make much of a difference. But then over here, as we get to see, it was having a C rating, and then it moved into uh, D rating. Such companies are four, which is roughly on 67 percent. This is between year one and year three, and uh, it was B, and uh, uh, it was rating uh, like there are three companies which was having a rating of B, which moved into default rating. There are such three companies over here. So the, this helps a uh, credit rating agency to understand as to uh, what, uh, like how good of a rating exercise is been undertaken. And that is the precise reason of undertaking this uh, rating transition matrix. So uh, the ratings, uh, if it is uh, increasing over a period of time, that suggests that uh, the rating exercise is not been done uh, well and uh, it is not being able to really reflect the true uh, situation uh, because uh, ideally it shouldn't be a case where the company gets defaulted in a period of just two three years so there is a level of uh, uh, challenge that uh, the company uh, uh, th that the rating agency is facing in terms of really placing it across properly but over here 
yeah the closer it is then it is understandable that okay we had given a c rating now it has moved into d rating so that is still good but then if there you have given a a rating and in just two years time the 20 percent of the companies have uh, gone into d rating then there is something that has to be looked into right so though it's one company but in terms of uh, uh, eight companies it's 20 percent so it, this is just a representation of the thing and just to make you understand how the thing works right so you can do uh, this sort of uh, exercise and calculation this you can do for any year as such okay uh, you can okay so uh, you can make uh, those changes and uh, you can take any other year over here and uh, the changes would then get reflected right so this will give you sufficient understanding around things and this is what uh, transit the way a transition matrix is built and set up right i hope uh, you understood the concept and uh, uh, you like some value is added to you in the process right thanks a lot we'll catch up in some other video